Welcome to the Biggs Museum of American Art in historic downtown Dover. American art and the interpretation of American art is our number one mission. We collect things made, used, and cherished in Delaware from about 1700 to the present. The museum really starts with the museum's founder, Sewell C. Biggs. He had been collecting uh, here within the state of Delaware for about 60 years. Eventually, different entities from the state of Delaware invited Sewell to come bring his collection to put on view in what was, 20 years ago, a Delaware State Visitor Center. The museum became its own entity, and eventually the museum took over the entire building at 406 Federal Street, which is where we are today. We have a couple of really, really very important, very interesting collections. We have some of the earliest pieces of furniture that we've been able to find created by Delaware craftsmen. And that's with uh, pieces of furniture that came out of the Vincent Lockerman house here in Dover, Delaware. Vincent Lockerman was a local merchant, bought the house in the early 1740s. And the furniture that we have here, a huge suite of it, was probably made here in Dover in that period of the 1740s. We have a lot of portraits because portraits were really popular right up through the 19th century. A lot of the portraits that are on view here actually were made in Delaware or are of people who are from Delaware. We have one of the best silver collections of Delaware silversmiths um, anywhere in the country and most of it is on view and available to see at any time. Frank Schoonover, one of the key sort of uh, students of Howard Pyle, created probably something like 3,000 illustrations. I mean, he was a rock star of uh, the printing industry in the first part of the 20th century. And we have one of the largest collections in North America. collection is on a timeline basis. So every gallery you go to is another 20 or 30 years up the timeline. So you can talk about the evolution of style and you can also talk about the major historic influences that shaped the way things look. That timeline presentation is something that's very, very interesting, very, very special about this museum. We have all sorts of specialized tours within the museum so you can talk about the history of portraiture, the history of furniture, the history of ceramics history of glass objects and you can sort of see that evolution. I think that some of the most important things to remember about the museum, it's a really unique focused collection around this region. You're really going to have this very intense, very personal, intimate sort of experience within the museum.